Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today to do a library book sale and I have two separate halls. So the first one is going to be at a library where everything was 25 cents except for some special things, but I just everything that I got was 25 cents. I love those kinds of sales. The only kind of sale that beats that is like a dollar a bag or something. Fill a bag for a dollar or two or whatever it is. But this one was super cool. This one, I went to this one in February. This was probably one of my favorite finds. Love the cover. Like I've said in other hauls, I think. I love hardcover books where the picture is on the cover itself. I think they make really cool junk journals. Look how cute the back is. And this is a Bobsy Twins book. This library sale was pretty big. I didn't get like a ton of stuff. I got a good amount, but not too much. And the sale was inside and outside. So it was super fun to look around. This one is copyright 1952. So cute. I love children's books from this era. Not just for making junk journals, but also for reading. I used to love to read books with these types of drawings in them. I think this is a perfect size for a junk journal. The ones that I make tend to be larger, so I should start making smaller sizes. This is also Bobsy Twins, and it's a very cool cover. This is copyright 1952 as well. I love these pages. They're pretty thick. I think they're the same type as the Nancy Drew books. And I absolutely love the pages from Nancy Drew. The old Nancy Drew books with the like green cover. There are no illustrations in this book but super excited to use that cover. I think this is so freaking adorable. I'm guessing this is from the 80s or something like that, but this is just so cute. Oh, it's definitely not from the 80s. This is 1963, copyright 1963. That's a cute picture. I thought it was from the 80s. Super cute. This one, this book I actually read when I was younger. I loved this author. I loved reading these books. Um, it's like a series of books. And one thing that I loved about them were the illustrations. The ones that I read were always paperback but I managed to find a hardback of this and I actually recently read this book, not this one, but um, I actually borrowed a soft cover book of this from my library. I'm trying to um, think up some lesson plans so I was rereading some books but this is copyright 1985 and honestly when I make this into a junk journal I'm gonna keep the story because I really love this story 
I don't know how. I don't know how it's gonna come out. But yeah, love that. And then I found this book. I love this color. This like bright salmon color. It's called Countess Kate. That's really cool in the back too. This is copyright, it doesn't say. It just says all rights reserved. Oh, first, okay, so it was first published in 1862, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this book is from then. I, I highly doubt it. Pretty dirty, but the pages are really thick, super thick, and I think it'll be cool to make this into a junk journal because it's pretty petite, like it's not that big. Now this, sorry the bag almost fell but this is not from this library sale I'm not sure which one of my hauls it's from maybe the one that I went to the state sale with all those um, all those books that were compilations of magazines possibly but I thought I'd show you in this video this is one of those like not a pamphlet but the soft cover cookbook type deals and the pictures are really cool these are contest winners this one was in a, a thousand dollar reward best of class winner grand national senior contest these are pecan bars I've never had a pecan bar This was $3,000 prize, and it was a junior contest. Marbapple ginger cake. This one, blueberry boy bait, junior contest. This is a junior contest as well. It's, it's kind of interesting that there's um, a picture of the winner. Chocolate Twin Dots. Life seemed really interesting back then. <laughs> this is a senior contest. Crab Meat Cobbler. Oh, and I guess these are the there are also winners. It says senior winner, junior, ju junior winner. Cheese pie. Oh, lemon cheese pie. And then this book. Very cool inside papers and papers. I love these illustrations. This here says 1927, and the copyright is 1927. This is a first edition book. So I normally don't look at that, but I just happened to notice this one. The pages are so imperfect. But that's really cool that this is all the way from 1927. That's so cool. I think that's one of the my favorite things about what we do. That we get to see all these cool old things that came from another time. All right. This is not for junk journals, 
but it's a book from the 80s and I grew up in the 80s so I loved these kinds of books oh my god I would love going to the library I would love finding books like these and I still love them just the way that it's illustrated is super cute it just makes it seem like like the story must be really interesting like the illustrations or the covers of books that are for kids now I don't like them like those the type of cartoon that they use now I don't like that style I love this kind of style she was one of my favorite authors well I had a lot of favorite authors back then um, see the book that I showed you earlier this one Patricia really gift she also wrote a bunch of other books that I also loved that were not part of that series Let's see what the copyright is 1980 can't wait to reread this again that's why I bought this book and this one the hand-me-down kid I just noticed this right now actually the author is Francine Pascal didn't she write all the Sweet Valley or she was the creator of Sweet Valley High and Sweet Valley Twins I didn't I never knew about this book this is copyright 1980 as well can't re wait to read this all right now there were a bunch of these books but I was trying to be picky and now I don't know why I was trying to be picky because this looks really cute look at that little girl these illustrations so cute that is adorable this is copyright 1977 so cute I think I didn't buy a lot of them because I think because it was the font is so large like it's for very young readers and I didn't know if I could use them but these are so cute I should have just bought more of these <laughs> actually have one of these books from before I made junk journals so I liked this just because I liked it and I bought it before I think I bought one in 2013 that I saw at a thrift store or something but this is from 1988 copyright 1988 and I bought this one to use in junk journals super adorable illustrations now okay let me save the best for last this is called fun at the fair and I just thought it was super fun so colorful I feel like these illustrations are probably from the 80s which I love and I thought it would be fun to experiment with now this is the best for last I'm running out of room on this um, phone like storage so I hope the video doesn't cut off but I found all of these golden books for 25 cents each I really felt like I hit the jackpot this was originally 29 cents which means that it's pretty old Yep, copyright 1957 and I found this for 25 cents and of course we all know these illustrations they're super adorable 
This one is also so adorable. Oh my gosh. It's pretty beat up. So if I use this, I would definitely use book corners. How cute is that? This is um, copyright 1962, but the printing is from 1971. It's the third printing. And I absolutely love these illustrations. So cute. This one is called Dr. Dan, the Bandage Man. I don't know if I've ever seen this. I don't think I've ever seen this. Um, pictures by Corrine Malvern. And of course, they are adorable. I wonder why, oh, here it is. Copyright, originally from 1950, but this book itself is from 1977. And it is so adorable. I love illustrations of just regular family life and people. This is Nurse Nancy and Copyright 19, but it says first random house edition 2005. So is this, yeah, this is from 2005 because it says um, it has a website. Is that what all these are? Let's look at this one. No, this looks like it is from 1977. Same with this one. This is from 1971. Okay, so this one is actually a new one. That's really confusing. Because the spine of these two are similar and this looks new I think this is new there's a website on there but it's so weird that in here it doesn't acknowledge that it just has the original copyright dates hmm that's interesting these do actually look old. All right, let me get through these. So Nurse Nancy, A Day at the Seashore. Now this is, I'm pretty sure this is new. It says renewed 1979, but it looks like a newer book. Yeah, there's a website here. That's so weird that it doesn't say when it was printed. This looks like an old one because it's 49 cents. Illustrated by Eloise Wilkin. Printing is 1976. So this is actually a honest to goodness old one. <laughs> and then this one. Um, 89 cents so I'm guessing this is fairly old as well 1982 so that sounds about right it's 1982 printing so the boy with the drum we like kindergarten I love this book it says 49 cents so I'm guessing it's also from the 80s 11th printing 1976 and I love these illustrations so cute I don't know if I'll be able to take this off but if I can't I'll just make a journal for myself um, this one looks old it says copyright 1986 so I think this is truly from 1986 and I love these types of drawings 
Sorry, I'm trying to rush through because I don't know when my phone is gonna shut off. But the rest is from a library where I, um, I go there all the time. It's $1 for a bag full of books, but they don't have that many great books. And um, I mainly get magazines from there. So I'll, I'll just fill up a bag and everything's a dollar. But I did find this book and this is for glue book purposes. And I like that it's black and white. It's a very big book. It makes a statement, all these images. I think it's like a photography book. So I think this will be really cool in a glue book. So I was super excited about finding that one. Now in this particular trip I did find more than just magazines and some of this is pretty interesting all right not sure why I bought this but I'm pretty sure it's because it wasn't too expensive it's a screenplay so I thought I would read it <laughs> let's see if I actually read it rocket man I bought this before I watched the movie this is an Elton John movie great movie I loved it I loved that movie this is called a hidden life also a screenplay I just bought these because it's like almost free <laughs> this is a ring binder and it's 50s inspired it looks like <coughs> dividers inside and some um, page protectors here and paper it's brand new it looks brand new more page protectors in the back and I bought it for the cover but it was next to nothing so that was super awesome I don't even remember buying this book but this is facial fitness and I am I want to have a fit face. <laughs> so I am excited to try some of these. I have done facial exercises before. They are tiring. It's just moving little muscles is so tiring. Um, but I'm excited to try that, try out some of those exercises. Now the rest in this bag are magazines for glue books. So I just want to show you guys because seriously, when I first started doing glue books, I was like, where am I going to get all these magazines? There are so many magazines to be gotten out there, you guys. These were next to nothing. Expensive at a library would be 25 cents per magazine. But all of this that I just showed you right now, after the golden books, were a dollar so I got this bizarre magazine this one this one this one I hope YouTube doesn't get mad at that that found this one this is a, a pretty big magazine I think it'll be really cool Marie Claire Marie Claire Yeah, so I wish there were more hours in the day so I could actually work on glue books. I thought this was cool. The pages are matte. It's very pop art-ish. Just really cool pages. Some more Marie Claire, Cosmo. Yeah, I think this is just super fun and a good 